Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera Salam perjuangan uh, Saya Bro Miki dari Kebun DIY Laman uh, Miki Hydro Vertica Plant Akan berkongsi kepada anda berkenaan dengan uh, DIY Sustainable Lifestyle okay, Dalam workshop yang saya akan uh, kongsikan kepada anda ini Adalah berkenaan dengan upcycling uh, workshop Bawah tajuk DIY Vertical Farming uh, Nantikan perkongsian saya berkenaan dengan Kenapa kita pilih kaedah Vertical Farming Sebagai kaedah alternatif Untuk kita bercucuk tanam Terutama sekali di Uh, kawasan bandar dan yang penting adalah kita dapat sama-sama okey belajar bagaimana untuk menghasilkan uh, bot, uh, daripada botol plastik kita semula macam ni okey kita jadikan pasu hidroponik taku macam ni alright dan saya akan terangkan step by step kepada anda bagaimana kita recycle uh, botol plastik ya Uh, 1.5 liter ataupun botol plastik yang bersaiz lebih besar untuk pokok yang lebih besar jadi saya akan kongsikan kepada anda bagaimana dan anda boleh belajar uh, melakukannya sendiri projek DIY ini uh, dan ini adalah hasil eh, antara hasil-hasil uh, tanaman yang ditanam menggunakan kaedah upcycling uh, menggunakan recycle container eh. Okey, bahan kita semula dan juga ini okay, menggunakan uh, botol 5 liter eh, menanam saya tanam kobis uh, okay. uh, dan juga pokok herba juga kita boleh tanam seperti daun sop dan juga uh, mint uh, dan bayam brazil jumpa anda di dalam perkongsian saya seterusnya iaitu dalam upcycling workshop This method secara tak langsung kita dapat bersama-sama melestarikan amalan ataupun kempen bumi hijau that's a sustainable green lifestyle that's the objective why we are here today right okay. you cut the bottle into two sides uh, using uh, the cutter and scissor and then Uh, cut uh, at the top of the bottle for the hanger part okay the size is around 2 uh, inch or 4 finger all right okay then we move to the next uh, step After, uh, in the step 3 okay trim the sharp corner uh, uh, sharp corner to avoid the hazard uh, and punch the hole uh, to place the S hook Uh, using the soldering iron okay and next uh, we can continue to punch a few hole okay at the upper part of the bottle okay berhati-hati ya yeah. please beware in this step uh, do it carefully because the soldering iron is hot hati-hati ya yeah. kita jauhkan daripada kanak-kanak okay in the step 5 uh, insert the mock string Okay, through the hole at the bottle cap. Okay, you also can uh, use the scissor to adjust the size of hole. Okay, the purpose of uh, mop string eh, uh, is uh, to absorb the water to moisten the medium. Okay, tujuan kain mop eh, yang kita gunakan ni adalah sebagai sumbu eh, yang akan menyerap uh, larutan nutrien uh, bagi mengekalkan kelembapan pada media tanaman yang kita gunakan. And then uh, next is a step six. We attach the bottle cap. Nah, now uh, the pony pot is ready. Okay, for the next uh, step seven. For the next step, all right. Uh, next slide. Okay, for the next step, uh, we will paint the pot. But uh, before that, we need to put the sticker at the bottom uh, pot. Okay, for the purpose of monitoring uh, the water level. All right. After that, we spray we spray the paint on the pot and after dry, we peel off the sticker. Okay, ruangan look sina yang yang kita nampak di slide ni ya, uh, ia bertujuan ya untuk mudah supaya kita dapat pantau level larutan nutrien tu ya dan sekiranya kurang kita boleh top up. Ya. Okay, uh, we have uh, complete and uh, provide the hydroponic. Pot, ha? kita dah siap kita punya pasu hidroponik takung 
okay, for this process, uh, we need to prepare this item as shown uh, in the slide. One liter water, fertilizer ENB, okay, kailan seedling, okay, anak pokok kailan, kokopi ataupun sabuk kelapa, and also EC meter. Okay, we use the EC meter ni actually for the uh, to check the concentration of the nutrient. Okay, kita gunakan untuk memeriksa kepekatan baja AB. Alright, okay, next. Uh, we put the cocoa peat uh, in the pot. Okay, normally uh, in the platinum uh, media used for the hydroponic system. Uh, normally uh, uh, the the media we use is uh, cocoa peat, rock wool, and the sponge. Uh. But for this method, uh, I prefer we use the cocoa peat because it's uh, more effective. Okay, and then the the step ten uh, we make the hole. And then we put the seedling, kita buatkan sedikit lubang dan kita masukkan anak pokok ke dalam pasu hydroponic takung kita tadi. Alright, we move to the steps 11. Okay. And next, uh, we mix the fertilizer, okay, uh, mix the AB fertilizer according to the manual instruction, All right? Normally, when you buy the fertilizer eh, from the shop, you will get uh, the instruction manual as a guideline, okay? All right, for example, I'm using 5 milliliter fertilizer AB, a mix with 1 a liter water, All right? for this uh, project lah. And then in the step uh, 12 too, to ensure the concentration you of the nutrient, you can check uh, using the EC meter. Okay, kalau tak ada uh, EC meter ni pun tak apa. Alright, macam saya bagi tahu tadi, uh, biasanya bila kita beli uh, fertilizer atau budget AB ni atau budget XY uh, pada botol, akan ada cara bancuhan uh, beberapa uh, nisbah berapa. Uh, jadi, kita follow sahaja arahan eh, yang yang diasyurkan. Okey, ini saya bagi satu tips. Eh. You ingat macam ni je. Kepekatan baja ni bergantung kepada jenis dan usia tanaman. Eh, kepekatan baja yang kita buat ni bergantung kepada usia dan jenis tanaman. Lain tanaman, lain dia punya kepekatan konten uh, uh, dalam larutan nutrien ni. Okey, and the last step. Uh, last picture tu, kita tengok, uh, we put the mixed fertilizer tadi into the pot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have complete the DIY hydroponic using recycle container. Uh, okay, we move to uh, slide. Alright, uh, this is my uh, collection, <laughs> my vegetable and herb that uh, has planted a suitable Uh, using the recycle container, ini antara uh, tanaman yang uh, sesuai ya, untuk digunakan uh, menggunakan uh, kita punya apa ni method uh, upcycling container ni lah and also my red. Okay, antara pokok uh, among the vegetable that has been planted uh, is a uh, mustard, kailan. Okay, if uh, you can see, I can show the the video. This is a uh, 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 you can see my video. Okay, right. This is a kailan. All right. Uh, you use the uh, uh, what we call the uh, upcycling uh, container with the kailan, and also this is a bayam Brazil, Brazilian spinach. This is my favorite actually. Ah, uh, this we can buy ulam, we can make masak, ah, uh, and then also we can make goreng celup tepung. All right. <laughs> and also I uh, also plant the herbs. Ah, huh? the herbs like a uh, Uh, suitable also the pudina means right this a means uh, pudina and then this is a down soap okay down soap is a parsley right this is her all right okay okay for this eh, you also can use the same method Uh, for the different size of a recycle container, for the bigger size of the plant. For example, kalau you nak tanam cili ataupun cabbage, ah, uh, you boleh gunakan a five liter uh, bottle like this lah. This one, okay, you can use this five liter uh, bottle. And uh, and this is uh, the result. You can see, this is my cabbage uh, about the one and half month. Using the uh, same method, but using the uh, five liter what what five liter container. Eh? So okay, eh? 
Okay, I have I have share in my uh, YouTube channel uh, M Saimichi Ibrahim. Oh nanti anda boleh tonton tutorial lebih detail lah uh, bagaimana nak cara nak tanam kobis uh, dalam botol bersaiz 5 liter. Alright, we move to next. Okay, this is my own design. Okay, uh, of the vertical rack uh, using PVC pipe. Also, you also I, I, I'm sure you also can DIY because this is simple actually. You can uh, DIY also. Uh, you can do it also. Uh, you, we just uh, use the PVC pipe. Eh? But if you want me to do it, also can. Uh, nanti kita bincang. All right. Uh, all right. We move to next slide. Okay, everybody. As I mentioned uh, earlier, my hobby is inventing, gardening, right? I can painting and writing, especially creating DIY garden and also sharing my hobbies experience eh? uh, through media social such as uh, like uh, YouTube, Blogspot, and also Facebook. Hopefully, uh, it will give a benefit to all of us. Eh? Uh, if you want to learn more about DIY project at home, uh, you can watch uh, my tutorial, my sharing at my YouTube channel. Okay, don't forget uh, to subscribe, like and share. Okay, uh, thank you uh, to the organizer for giving me the opportunity to share my knowledge and experience uh, in this webinar. Uh, hopefully, uh, the information I have uh, shared with you uh, will be used uh, to all of you. share dan subscribe channel M Saimiki Ibrahim. Jumpa anda lagi. Assalamualaikum dan bye-bye.